Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to configure input mapping on a 484 to control one of the outputs on an ETH008. First thing I'm going to do is just access the ETH484's test page by typing ETH484 into a browser's address bar and entering the username and password, at which I'm using the defaults, which are admin and password. Once there, you'll see the states of the inputs listed here and if you look I have a switch attached to input 1 of the ETH484 and if I toggle that switch it toggles the state of the input on and off. That is the input that we will be using to control one of the relays on the ETH008 and that is input 1. To do that I'll just click mapped inputs to go to the input mapping configuration and because we're using input 1 I'll just click enable input 1. Now in these boxes we need to put the details of our ETH008 so the IP address, its port, the output we wish to toggle and if it's enabled the password. To find this information I'll just log on to the ETH008 test application by typing ETH008 and again entering its username and password And once that's connected, if I just click configuration, I'll be able to see the port number and the IP address that the ETH008 is using. And I can input that into our ETH484. So I'll just input that information. It's on an IP address of 192.168.0.45. It's using the default port of 17494. And I'll flick relay number 5 over. Once your details have been entered, just click Save Config and you'll be returned to the main test application page. And now, if I flick the switch attached to input 1, relay number 5 on the ETH008 will toggle.